Welcome friends, in this video I am going to talk about the transit planets and their position with respect to your natal planets and what to expect from it. So for the beginners, let me first differentiate between the natal planets and the transit planets. See when a person is born on that date and on that specific time, a horoscope is casted and the sign which is rising on the eastern horizon becomes your lagna and the planets at that time to whichever sign they are placed they are casted in that sign as per the horoscope as per the lagna and that becomes your horoscope for your life and that placement of planets would be called as the natal placement and that remains the same throughout your life what changes is the dashas of the planets they change and the dashas are calculated based upon the nakshatra your moon is in. So from that nakshatra the dashas will start and each planet is having a specific period of its dasha and that keeps changing. So this is one part of it but at any given time if you want to see that in which sign has a planet moved from uh, the time of your birth you can just cast a horoscope and see in which sign that planet is currently situated in and that is called as the transit position of that planet. Suppose you want to study the transit of Jupiter with respect to your natal placement of Jupiter. So suppose your Jupiter is present in the sign of Sagittarius at the time of your birth that is its natal position and you want to know how it's going to behave for you as per the transit in that case you will have to see where it has gone currently into its transit position we all know that this Jupiter has recently transited into the sign of Sagittarius only on 5th of November so it means that this transit Jupiter with respect to the natal Jupiter is now conjuncting itself and it's going to enhance the qualities of this Jupiter throughout the period of one year. So of course during that time it may go retrograde also and it may move ahead also and it can go to the sign of it may go to the sign of Capricorn but here we will only talk about how it's going to behave when it is in the sign of Sagittarius. So here it's conjuncting itself okay so this is the natal Jupiter and this is the transit Jupiter so it's conjuncting so whenever a planet in its transit conjuncts its natal self in that case it will enhance the qualities of the natal planet and the karkas and the houses to which it is governing in that horoscope so suppose this person is having a Sagittarius Lagna and this Jupiter is in the sign of Sagittarius itself and it's also ruling the fourth house of Pisces. So in that case this person will get good results of all the Karkas of Jupiter and of the first house and of the fourth house in his chart because the transit Jupiter is now enhancing the qualities of this natal Jupiter. So what are the Karkas of Jupiter? So the Karkas of Jupiter are knowledge, children, education, uh, good health, it's your own self and it's also about your wealth. So all these things will be showing you positive results during the time up till the time this transit Jupiter is present in the sign of Sagittarius because it's conjuncting itself. Now uh, before proceeding further let me also tell you that the dashas uh, should be favorable also only then the transitory results uh, could be felt when a dasha is good and the transit is bad in that case don't expect very good results and lot of things are achieved by lot of hard work they may or may not be achieved because the transits are not favorable if the dashas are bad and the transits are good in that case also the person may or may not achieve the desired results because the dashas are not promising but the transits are good here. So if both are good in that case you can ex expect very good results 
and if both are bad in that case don't attempt doing that particular task up till the time the dasha or the transit changes so this thing should definitely be kept in our minds while we study the transit of planets now what happens when the transit jupiter is in in the sign which is 12th to its natal position suppose this jupiter in your chart is in the sign of sagittarius and say the transit jupiter is in the sign of scorpio so which means it is 12th from its natal position so in that case all the karkas of jupiter as well as the lordship of jupiter which is sagittarius and the pisces here in this example will suffer lot of expenses because 12th house is the house of expenditure and the person may not be in his uh, righteous self the person will feel lost during this transit and there is also a fear of uh, getting hospitalized because of this placement of jupiter so the person uh, may see some kind of relief if there is Uh, Ashtagvarga point in the place where this Jupiter is transiting. If Jupiter is present in the sign of Scorpio, as per this example, but um, there are sufficient number of points in the Ashtagvarga chart. In that case, uh, it's going to be lot of expenses. But uh, if there are less number of points, then the expenses would be under control. So. Uh, you have to keep in mind the ashtakvarga score also but always uh, take it as that the 12th placement of jupiter from its own self is going to give you lot of expenses and it can also give you foreign travels because 12th house is the house of abroad also uh, as per the um, uh, as per the placement of houses in a horoscope now if this uh, transit jupiter goes to the 6th house from the natal jupiter in that case it it can give you difficulties related to your health or related to children or one can face problems related to money matters or related to people whom the person is meeting so the houses will suffer during this transit and the karkas will suffer during this transit now if the transit jupiter goes to 8th from its natal placement suppose your natal jupiter is in the sign of sagittarius and the transit jupiter goes to the sign of cancer which is the 8th from its natal in that case there would be suddenness in the things related to the 4th house in the things related to your lagna and also the karkas of jupiter will show you suddenness of some sort and there is also lot of research which is going to go hand in hand because 8th house is also about occult it's also about research but 8th house is mainly about uh, something which is happening suddenly or some kind of sudden trouble also so 8th placement from its own self is not very good so now if this jupiter is uh, sitting in second to its natal position suppose your natal jupiter is in the sign sagittarius and this transit jupiter goes to the sign of capricorn so from sagittarius capricorn is the second sign so which means it is sitting second from its natal position it's going to give you excellent results there would be lots of gains related to first house related to fourth house to which it is lord of in your natal chart and the karkas will also see lot of gains during this time so your family would gain your income would show good results you will gain in those accounts and children will gain so uh, lot of positive results can be felt with this kind of transit now the transit of this jupiter if it goes to the third house from the natal jupiter it's going to make sure that you have to communicate a lot you have to do a lot of hard work related to the first house and fourth house here and related to your children related to money matters related to making money you have to work really really hard and there could be a lot of travel also which could be involved during this placement and um, 
this is how you have to understand this now if the transit jupiter goes to the 11th house from its own self say again in the same example natal jupiter is in sagittarius and the transit jupiter goes to the sign of libra which is 11th from it in that case the person is going to be very friendly in his temperament throughout the period of this transit the person will meet lot of people uh, he will make lot of good networking during this time there would be increase in his income and uh, see all the things related to the 11th house would prosper because jupiter is 11th to its own sign to its own self so the first house will show growth the fourth house which is the house of your um, house of your domestic bliss they will also prosper during this transit because 11th house is the house of gains so uh, if this jupiter uh, is in is in the kendra from its natal self suppose your jupiter is in the sagittarius sign and the transit jupiter goes to the sign of uh, which is fourth from it or which is seventh from it or which is um, tenth from itself in that case it will make sure that during the entire one year period of this transit you will have to work really really hard and you will have to undergo a lot of struggles to meet your uh, to meet your targets to meet your uh, desires and to come up in the professional sphere because from the kendra placement uh, of this transit jupiter to its natal uh, placement you will see that lot of hard work and struggle is required for a person to achieve the targets only after that the person will be able to gain and if this natal jupiter is in um, trying to itself that is in the 5th or in the 9th to itself it's a very good time for you and it's going to bless you continuously throughout the period of one year because the trinal positions are the positions of blessings so from uh, to its natal placement this transit jupiter is going to bless itself and also it's going to bless its karkas and also the houses which comes under the domain of the natal jupiter that is the first and the fourth house as per this example so it will be a very good time for this native if jupiter is in trine to itself so of course first house is also trine uh, and 159 are the trinal houses so it's going to give you very good results lastly if this jupiter is placed in the 7th to its own self say the natal jupiter is in the sagittarius and this jupiter of transit goes to the sign of gemini from here it's aspecting the uh, natal planet jupiter so here since it it is its own self so it's going to increase and enhance the capabilities of the natal jupiter and it's going to give you good result now currently as per this example rahu is in the sign of gemini and it is aspecting the uh, jupiter who is uh, as per the example in the natal chart it is in the uh, sagittarius sign in the in this kind of condition where rahu doesn't consider jupiter as its friend Uh, some say it's neutral some say that it is its enemy so this transit of rahu its aspect on the natal jupiter will not be considered as very good uh, so 7th house is the house of partnerships it's also the house of people whom you are meeting in your day to day life who are sitting in front of you so those people whom you meet on day to day basis can be deceptive and you have to be careful with this kind of transit so if the planet who is sitting in the front of the natal planet is not its friend it's not going to support there would be lots of challenges uh, regarding your day to day life which you will have to go through with this placement but if the planet is friendly to the sign to which it is aspecting um, in the transit it's going to give you very good results so if jupiter is sitting seventh to its own self it's going to give you good result but if a planet which is rahu it's sitting in seventh to its own self 
in that case Rahu will not give good results to the natal Jupiter. So friends this was about the planet uh, transit planets with respect to their natal positions. So if you have liked this video I would request you to press the like icon and uh, keep sharing this with your friends and in my next video I will try to come with something more interesting and which is of use to all of you. So I will see you in my next video. Until then bye friends.